Here's the beauty of Titanite Hill. Sun not shining on it. Sun shines on it. This is Titanite Hill. So you can start your mineral collection here. A couple of weeks earlier than you normally start in Ontario. So there's a nice, completely unfractured piece of yellowish appetite. Uh, just the question is whether I can extract it. But I'd be curious to compare its uh, spectrum to the spectrum of the minty green, just to see what the difference is, whether it's the praseodymium or neodymium that becomes dominant within the actual. As I'm going further and further up the hill, I'm getting closer to the source. Uh, I mean, the appetite remains uh, a pretty decent green, although it varies. The bigger it gets, the more fractured it seems. But I happen to know that somewhere just on this little ridge here, I'm probably gonna find the, the source of all these appetites and calcite, they're really higher quality stuff. Lower down, uh, doesn't, you just got cast offs that seem to have rolled from higher up or was uh, basically extracted from lower down and, and if not of the same level of quality, more or less a yellow. So I believe I found the spot where the appetite's coming from. Uh, that is the high quality appetite. It's this fissure right here, uh, or a calcite vein. Um, seems like it's got some decent crystal formation underneath. And I can see the exposure of the appetite along here, along with the, um, the pinkish calcite. So in a further hunt for the um, appetite, I've been following this calcite seam or calcite layer. It's pretty well spread like a cap all across the side of this hill, but this is the point of access for me because I can see that there's a, a little funnel underneath. Before, in previous videos from this area, um, it's almost like the, the soil and the minerals flow almost like gold would say in water. Water, you know, and the minerals all settle down in the sort of divots and lower areas beneath the calcite seam. They dissolve out of the calcite, the apatite, the titanite, you know, the horn blends and stuff. And they follow along down these particular natural sort of runways underneath the earth. So. Here I am, I found a couple appetites so far that are quite nice and of good quality. There's this one, this rock here, obviously it's got more. And it's quite a sizable one down. What do you found there, Jeff? Yeah, a couple of these big turdy looking amphiboles, fluorocrates, whatever they are. Nice, and that's just up there? That's up there, one of the few spots that's thawed out. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. A mineral video, video is not a mineral video without some good minerals, so I'm afraid I've had to come over here and check out what Jeff's up to. Jeff, Yo. found some sweet titanite, brother. Can you show us? Oh, nice one. Complete. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Holy. Yeah, today's my day for appetite by the look of it. I've hit a layer. I'm digging right next to Jeff's hole. There's his hole there. I'm thinking I can intercept the, the cavity that he's working on from that end, I'm gonna try and intercept it from this end. But here's a nice piece of appetite, some nice color to it, a little bit fractured again, but my very first titanite, very small. You always know the titanite by its incredible luster. Just found a few reddish ones today. I can see a bit of a reddish glint on this one. They say the Emperor Nero watched the uh, gladiatorial games through a large Octagonal green emerald. Sadly, this is my appetite, and all I'm watching is Jeff doing the digging, but he's having the success. But hey, this tells me that there are indeed um, some really nice appetites. I'm, in, I'm actually at a layer here where I'm digging up the appetite, and uh, it's just a solid layer of appetite crystals. I mean, you can see one right there that I'm, I don't know if you can see it or not, I'm just sort of exposing the face a bit. So I guess I'll dig a little more carefully because um, that's some nice stuff, you know? It's not very fractured. Color, transparency, relative freedom from fractures. That's gem quality appetite. Here's the first of the larger crystal finds for the day for me. Big, big, huge horn blend. Um, black, filthy with mud. Everything's lying on top of the calcite layer in this hole of mine, right? So, I mean, I've found a fair number. You can see I found some titanite, I've got some abatite. There's my Nero's eyeglass, as I call it. Guys, here's the true measure of success. This is a gem quality appetite. It's large. 
and I basically I've just bust into a pocket just in there I can feel tons and tons of minerals down there like like crystals and stuff this is doubly terminated uh, hardly fractured in any way this is a phenomenal find best appetite like the most beautiful pure appetite like I mean that that that's just a handful like I just pulled that out it's exactly just like that right first time they see the light of day just holding out of the hole here we go that's what I've been looking for titanite nice one once I wash it up top of titanite hill um, not a lot of you know quite the hike to get up here a little bit out of breath not a lot to do with the minerals up here at least not the kind of minerals you want to be trying to find while you're here what you're looking for is the calcite veins uh, that's down at the bottom uh, up here we've got a lot of quartz feldspar that kind of thing you see the beauty of the calcite is that it's one of the last of the minerals to solidify so all of the other crystals as the temperature drops in the melt all the other crystals are forming the calcite remains like as a soup um, a liquid that holds those minerals that are forming the crystals and then again easily it dissolves as well and therefore all these lovely crystals that are formed in the calcite then drop out a lot of them being doubly terminated so yeah if you're here at the Gibson property aka Titanite Hill don't bother coming up top um, stay down below and uh, exploit the, uh, the calcite veins that's where you're finding the minerals Titanite, Appetite, uh, that kind of thing. The hole's filling up. My hands are cold. I barely feel the crystals anymore. I mean, anybody who comes will find a real amazing pile of Appetite. There's my mud heat there. How are you feeling, Jeff? Hungry. You want to call it a day?